I mean, if you actually believe stuff like this, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> what a rip chest. And before we do get into the nitty gritty of today's video, I just want to tell you, unless somebody is saying to you, hey, you need to lift harder in the gym. Hey, you need to do some cardio. Hey, you need to sort your diet out. Hey, you're eating too much bad food. You are not going to get in the shape that you want to go in. Anytime you try to cut a corner or if anything sounds too good to be true, as in all things with life, it's too good to be true. There's no magic solution. There's no secret. You just have to work really, really hard. Sometimes be like, well, this sucks. But other times, it's the greatest thing ever. It's quite literal ups and downs. Now, shout out to my friend, Laura Kate, who did hook me up with this. And to be fair, the article that I'm using is not the article in question, but it's the only one I could find that made me laugh the most. You can lose weight by crying. <laughs> Let the experts explain. Because if you have plans of shedding a few pounds, but you are not ready for intermittent fasting or an intense workout at the gym yet. I'm sorry, if you're not ready for those things, then you've already failed before you've even begun. Although you don't need to do intermittent fasting, just do whatever you want. Then you can try... <laughs> crying. Because according to a recent study in California, shedding some tears releases toxins from your body and it reduces stress. Stress reduction helps your body burn fat. Now, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Of course it's true, but the reason you should want to keep your cortisol levels down and the reason you don't want to be stressed should not be because you're not burning enough body fat. It should be because you want to live a happy life. Nobody wants to be stressed. Nobody wants to be wound up and nobody wants to be going, man, I'm so stressed right now. I can't be burning any body fat. It's irrelevant. If you are stressed, it means there's other things things in your life you need to sort out first. Of course, health and fitness is really important. But if it gets that important, something has definitely gone wrong. Crying is our natural response to emotion. Thanks very much. From pain to stress, from sadness to happiness. Dr. Aaron Newfield of Los Altos Group said, there are three types of tears. <laughs> this is amazing. The reflex, basal, and psychic tears. Now, actually, while we are here, I'm just going to throw in a little bit of Simon Miller nonsense. It's okay to cry. We do have tears for a reason. Apparently, to lose weight. I don't know any of this, though, because basal tears are also known as the basic functional tear because they keep our eyes moist good to know. The reflux tears, also known as the irritation tears, are caused by environmental stresses like smoke and dust, etc. Whereas the psychic tears, makes sense, are the ones linked to feelings and emotions. Probably shouldn't call them psychic tears. That sounds terrifying. The study stated that emotional crying or psychic tears could help you lose weight because of its connection to hormones that increase our cortisol level. Cortisol level is our hormone for stress, blah, blah, blah. And when it's high, you are active, awake, motivated and responsive to your environment. But after you cry, you feel better and it gives you the energy to move and do something productive since you have already released your stressed hormones. This is unbelievable. This is unreal. And you shouldn't put these things out there on the internet because while it may not pertain to you and it may not pertain to me, a lot of people read that and they go, oh, hey, I don't have to get my ass on a stepper or on a cross train or on a treadmill for 40 minutes. I can just sit here in the evening for reasons we'll get to in just one second and go, wah, wah, wah. I goes on to say that cortisol is not always positive. If you bottle up your emotions and you refuse to let it out or cry, it will stay on a high level thus you may find yourself having trouble sleeping or you can't relax no matter how much you try i don't think we want to be crying before we go to bed i think you should just like have a normal day go to bed and recharge once again if you need to cry you should do it's massively important but not for these reasons william frey a biochemist also found out that tears that are stress induced remove different toxic substances from the bodies he concluded that crying is an excretory process that can help remove substances that can bottle up during our times of emotional emotional stress. Once again, if anybody ever uses the word detox or they're going to get rid of your toxins, I would run in the other direction as fast as you can. Also, it's usually a study from Harvard. This is the bit that gets me. Once you've shed tears, your body can't store more fat since the stressful hormones were already released. Now, there may be some scientific truth in that, but that is not taking into account anything else. That's nonsense. If you're crying away and eating ice cream and pizza and nachos, do you think your body goes, wait a minute, there's water coming out of my seeing devices. I won't store any fat. Of course not. Diet is the most important thing when it comes to weight loss or weight gain. I cannot believe that got written down on a piece of paper. The study also added that tears that are shed because of emotions are the only ones that can help you lose weight. What is happening? This is the best bit, right? This is the bit that got me as like, I'm making a video. I don't even care. Scientists who released this study also added that the best time to cry, write it down, get your pens and papers out, is 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. because these are the best times that you can cry since there is little to no chance of you getting interrupted. They don't know what your life circumstances are. Maybe you live in a student house and I'm gonna bet at seven to 10, your student house is gonna be loaded with students. If they come to your dear door and hear me, 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 what's going on in there, Steve? Oh, I'm just having a cry to drop some weight. They're gonna kick you out of the house. At the end of the day, no one likes to cry. 
disagree. You should like to cry. It makes you feel better, as it says here, actually. However, a good cry is healthy for you, as it can help you relax more and feel better instead of keeping all of your emotions hidden. So, I guess nobody does like to cry, but we should embrace it. There's nothing wrong with crying, although do not think it's a substitute for a good diet and working out. Again, there's no magic science here. There's no secret path. You have to work out hard. You have to be intense, and you have to be accountable for your actions. That's it. You've got to be responsible. You've got to be disciplined. Nobody wants to hear these things, but it's true. So if you'd rather sit around and eat cake all day, you're allowed to make that choice as well. But don't buy into this baloney and don't buy into this gibberish. Why is this even a study? Why aren't these scientists working on something better than this? And I wouldn't mind if it was just taken as, a, oh, that's interesting. Because again, I'm sure there is truth within it, but people don't do that because nobody actually wants to put the effort in, which is also fine. Nobody's making you, by the way. It doesn't make you a bad person. But that just, it distracts people. It really does. Like all these fad diets and carbs, can't eat carbs, can't eat fat because you get fat, which is all lies. It's all a pile of nonsense as far as I'm concerned and we should throw it out of the window this is why we need to educate people more about nutrition and health and fitness and calories and how it actually works because then you can make the smart decisions and not come out with absolute this is nuts <laughs> this is genuinely nuts this is the other thing as well I found the actual study and the study says that you can't fake this you can't, you can't sit there and just make water come out of your eyes. It has to be triggered by real emotions. Real emotions. And they even say, well, why don't you just go watch a sad movie? Or think about a relationship that ended badly. What are we doing? Fitness is meant to be positive, damn it. And if, if it's just me... <laughs> That has to bring the positivity back into it. So that's what I'm going to do. Right. So there's a dumb video for a Tuesday. Don't cry <laughs> to lose weight. Did I even need to tell you to that? I don't think that I did. Also, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Click the bell ding ding. So be part of the notification crew. Massively appreciate that. And click the video on the screen because then YouTube will like me again. Grillamind.com forward slash Simon. You can time and get 10% off. You can get uh, money, super money off now on the Grillamind and Grillamind Night Trick. Grilla Mode, I should say. Because they just launched a pina colada flavor, which obviously is pie. Pineapple. I like pineapple. It tastes delicious. Also, these are my favorite supplements. It's why I'm affiliated them to begin with because I was using them and pimping them. And Derek Moore Plates More Dates is so nice. He brought me on board. And again, if you use my code Simon for all of this stuff, I get a little bit of extra cash. You know, that's how an affiliation works. I like to be honest. Same with patreon.com forward slash Simon316. It's just there to kind of, you know, make more money for all of this stuff because it doesn't pay greatly. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. You can get a cameo, search for my name, personalized video messages, merchandise, pro wrestling tees, and Samson Athletics. Really appreciate everyone that buys them something cool about someone buying one of your t-shirts and otherwise cry because you need to cry cry because you're emotional cry because you're a human being and that's perfectly normal do not cry <laughs> in order to lose weight